Where do you think this season came from for you, Jonathan? I really think it just came from my rookie season, just coming in the year that I came into learning everything virtually, finally get going halfway through the year, um, and then us falling short, you know, in Buffalo, and using that, using that fuel throughout the off season to be able to dive into the playbook even more, to be able to learn how to play the game at a high level, and then of course upping my game, you know, physically, and and then being able to put that on in production on the field, mm-hmm. um, starting with camp, you know, starting fast. And so, because we're talking about, um, you know, your draft mate in Joe Burrow quite a bit this week, as you might, might you might imagine, and talking about how he sees the game. I mean, we had Kurt Warner on previous to you, and he was talking about how his superpower is what's between his temples in a way for decision making. What about you? You just said about learning the game and getting to know what to do. How did you get from? your rookie season to this season based on that? Um, so really it was the help from the veterans in the locker room. Um, like I mentioned, our rookie year was COVID year. We all learned. We didn't have any OTAs, anything of that nature. You know, right. the rookies just came in during camp, guns blazing. So having the veterans being able to help me out um, and have me focus and learn on what to do um, my rookie season and then adding on top of that going into my second year, now I don't have to worry as much as about that. It's really How do I do these little things at a high level? You know, those little bits and pieces of knowledge that the veterans give me to be able to incorporate that. When you don't have to think about, okay, what did I just learn over the course of these past few months? It's, okay, this is the play call. Okay, now let me see what the defense is giving me and how can I take my game to the next level? What can I manipulate based on what the defense is showing me? Interesting. Which one, do you have a moment or a run this year? You had so many of them in in where this is something you're, prideful to mention that I saw or I could see and I did you got something so it really happened during the preseason this year so unfortunately I wasn't in um, this this game but we had a run call Mm -hmm. and I made a predetermining decision from the sideline but that's exactly where the running back took the ball and placed the ball that play so um, don't know if that's what he was thinking as well but just from My experience in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, if I was him, I'm thinking the ball might hit here. And that's exactly where he took the ball. So during that preseason moment is where I thought, okay, so all of that study and all of that work, all of those bits and pieces of knowledge from those veterans that I soaked up like a sponge is actually starting to pay off. I'm starting to see it now. So you, Jonathan Taylor, giving me an example of a play that you didn't run, but you ran in your head watching while not in the game that didn't count in the standings. Is that basically what your answer was to Yes, right it there? is. Yes, it is. And and that's where you want to be. You know, speaking of veterans, you want to be able to just see the game and be, in it and be able to dissect it, be able to understand what's going on. When you're able to, to do that, when you're in the game, I mean, it's a whole different picture. It's just everything is just a slowed down version. Well, I feel like, just excuse me for a moment, uh, Chris Brockman, he's our, yes, our, our general manager oh, yeah. of our fantasy team. Is there any way that we can guarantee we get Jonathan Taylor next year as Again? well? Yes. We him, I don't know if we can. We, year, can we yeah. do that? Can, is there any way, hearing all of these answers, uh, that we can get on that? I'll, I'll make some calls. Thank you. I'm sorry, Jonathan. <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt our conversation. <laughs> How many fantasy league owners did uh, or team uh, owners come up to you and say thank you for your oh, season? My God. So many. I mean, I never realized... Until I got into the NFL, yeah. you knew fantasy football was a big deal. You, you played fantasy. You never did. You play it? Or? I've never played it. Okay, but you knew. You know, people played fantasy. It's a fun thing to do. But yes. until you get into the NFL and realize how serious it can get, <laughs> like the fan, they the fantasy teams yeah. are what they are living for during the football season. They're like, I need to win every single week. Similar to how we are in our minds, we need to win every single week. Sure. But, yeah. you know, it's fantasy and they're really adamant about it. Right. And then they, like, people I imagine want to hug you and want to. Oh, they just <laughs> like, uh, they love you. Like, I'm like, you won my daddy's fantasy league or you, you won me $3,000. I'm like, whoa. whoa. Night, thank, I'm, I'm, thank you. I'm happy but, for but, you. But what's your beat? What your beak a little bit off of that? Like, it was your, like 10% of something like that. You know, oh man, that is, that is amazing. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.